Welcome to this video tutorial on the CEREC Speedfire. In this video, we will demonstrate the workflow for a CEREC MTL zirconia restoration from the manufacture phase to final completion. We start in the last phase of the CEREC software, the manufacture phase. A scan was already performed earlier and the restoration designed and positioned inside the block. Additionally, the devices needed for the manufacturing CEREC Prime Mill and CEREC Speedfire were already selected from the marked drop down menus. The green check marks indicate that CEREC Speedfire is turned on and selected. The CEREC MTL Zirconia block has been inserted in the CEREC Prime Mill and the touch process was performed. Accordingly, both devices are ready for the manufacture of the restoration. Once we tap Start, the estimated remaining process time is displayed at the bottom left of the screen. This varies depending on the type and size of the restoration as well as the selected milling mode. Both fast and fine milling modes are available. At the end of the milling process, a message is displayed to inform the user about the completion and that a firing order matching the restoration has been transmitted to CEREC Speedfire. We confirm with OK and switch to the CEREC Speedfire operating panel, which displays the sintering job at the very top of the Received Orders Overview. After removing the milled restoration from CEREC Prime Mill, we use a brush to remove the milling dust. Please make sure to only process unsintered CEREC MTL zirconia with gloves and under suction. To separate the restoration from the block holder, we hold it with one hand to ensure it doesn't simply fall off. The sprue location can be smoothed with a diamond rubber wheel. While processing, please keep in mind the shrinking factor of CEREC MTL zirconia during the sintering process. Next, we initiate the CEREC Speedfire sintering program. Once the door has been completely lowered, we place the restoration without any firing tray directly on the occlusal surface on the upper door seal and tap Start. The correct positioning is displayed on the operation panel. The door slowly moves up and the sintering process is initiated. After about 20 minutes, the sintering process is complete and the door opens automatically. Please keep in mind that at this point, the restoration has a temperature of several hundred degrees Celsius. After the door is completely lowered, we leave the restoration on the door insulation for a few more minutes, then move it with tweezers onto the fan for faster cooling. There are several ways to proceed from here. First case, continue the job. In this case, we can perform a glaze firing after sintering. Second case, continue later. In this case, a glaze job for CEREC MTL Zirconia is added to the job list, which we can initiate from here later at any time. Third case, finish the job. In this case, the order is completed without glaze firing. In our case, we have selected Continue Later and will now first look at the necessary utensils for glaze firing CEREC MTL Zirconia. This illustration shows the CEREC Speed Paste Firing Paste, Dense Ply Serona Spray Glaze, Dense Ply Serona Glaze Paste and Liquid Stain, the Dense Ply Serona Brush, a spatula, a tweezer, a mixing tray, as well as a suitable firing pin. If you decide to work with the spray, as in the example here, please make sure to wear a mask, safety goggles, and a pair of gloves. Before we start to apply the glazing material, we make sure that the restoration is free from debris and completely dried with oil-free air. We fill the interior of the crown with just enough CEREC speed paste to support the firing pin without overfilling the interior of the crown. Next, we carefully place the crown on a firing pin. The Dense Ply Serona Universal Spray Glaze must be shaken for at least 10 seconds before use. We wet the restoration surface all around from a distance of 6 to 10 centimeters from the nozzle outlet, making sure the spray is applied evenly. 
Next, we select the glaze firing for our restoration from the operation panel. Once the door has been completely lowered, we place the pin with the restoration on the upper door seal. Then we initiate the glaze firing and the door is closed automatically. After about 5 minutes, the door opens automatically. At this point, the restoration has a temperature of several hundred degrees Celsius. Only after the time on the operation panel has completely elapsed, we will place the pin and the restoration onto the fan for faster cooling. It is possible to perform two further glaze firings with this restoration. In this case, we terminate the glazing order with the appropriate button and go back to the home screen. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Sarek Speedfire.